So the first thing I did when I took this office was to put one hummingbird feeder at my window, hoping very hard that the hummingbird will stop by. And during the two years and a half that follow, I grew the population and I have 200 of them that I'm watching every day and it's growing. But I must say, I've never seen birds that were as fascinating as hummingbirds. They are in every aspect remarkable. They, they are tiny but fierce, so many personality, amazing metabolism, amazingly clever. That's really, I think, Mother Nature's best creation. Like, I think she was trying to make one tiny perfect jewel and she got it perfectly right. Huh? But around 50, yes, have names and I can recognize them. Uh, they will be Emerald, Marshmallow, Comet, Stromboli, Stardust, and Zircon, and Milky Way, Colores, uh, Tiny, Shy, Sparking, and you want more? <laughs> Some people don't know my name because I don't do research with them, but they know me as either the crazy hummingbird lady or the hummingbird whisperer. In order to stay alive, they have to eat eight to 10 times their weight per day in nectar because their metabolism is so high. They fly from patch to flower to patch of flowers. Every time they arrive to a patch of flowers, they are on the verge of dying until they can refuel. So every change in the climate will affect them very much so, much more than other birds that could adapt faster. Every day, having a crappy day, who cares? Hummingbird. Having a good day, making it even better, hummingbird. I mean, look at them, it just it makes you happy.